Welcome to episode two of how to get out of your photographic rut. In episode one, I outlined five different categories of new things to try to get your photographic mojo back. Number one, new process. Number two, specialty films. Number three, filters. Number four, novelty cameras. And number five, different subject matter. Today we're looking at category number two, specialty films. Now I've shared a lot of specialty films here on the channel, from Psych Blues to Revelog, Double Film, Yotica. These have all been pre-exposed to give you funky patterns or light leaks, and that's also the case for today's film, Heatwave 800. This one comes from Diego over at Amatorama here on YouTube. It started as a happy accident. He was developing some color film in his daylight tank out in the blazing Florida sun, and he accidentally took off the lid before the blick step, and got some interesting light leaks on his film. Now Diego liked these light leaks so much that he set out to reproduce this effect on purpose for a film he could release to the public, and that is what would become Heatwave 800. A peek under the label reveals that this started life as Kodak 400 film that was pre-exposed to light to give you this cool light leak effect. And now it's time to show you what it looks like. All the images you're about to see were shot at 800 my Canon Rebel Ti, and then developed in standard C41 chemistry. Stick around after the images and I'll share with you the one thing that sets Heatwave 800 apart from all the other specialty films. So the one thing that sets Heatwave 800 apart from all the other specialty films is that it is predictably unpredictable. Now what do I mean by that? Well, with all the other specialty films, you don't know where those light leaks are going to pop up. It's pretty random. But with Heatwave 800, every frame had the light leak at the bottom of the frame. It was pretty uniform. So if you like the element of creativity that light leaks can bring, but you still want to maintain some degree of control over the process, then Heatwave 800 might just be for you. If you want to get your hands on this film or its sibling, Heatwave 200, I've got a link to Diego's Etsy in the description. And if you want to start with episode one of my How to Get Out of Your Photographic Rut video series, click on the playlist popping up on the screen now. Until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film.